So hi guys, welcome to our video on document sets in SharePoint Online and SharePoint on Press. Uh, the concept of a document set is quite simple in that for a particular document library, as in a given example, um, you could navigate to the Files tab and when you click the New Document option, um, instead of generating a standard Word document or Excel spreadsheet, what you could have this do is possibly generate a series of documents related to a certain process, or in this case, if it was an induction or an onboarding process, there might be a whole bunch of documents that needed to be generated off the bat. So just naming this new document called Joe King, yes, I am Joe King, click Save, and once that's done, you'll notice how that has now generated five relevant documents for that person. Right, so uh, when you guys are ready, we'll get started and show you how this is done. So before we create the document set, let's uh, just quickly, briefly create one more content type. So navigating over to Site Settings and then navigating to Site Content Types. So what we'll look to do here is we'll create one more content type um, for, let's say, induction presentations. Oh, induction presentation. And then what we'll look to do is we'll just give it a brief description. And uh, the parent content type in this case is going to be found under document content types and the parent content itself will be a document. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this uh, content type under a group that we've already created called uh, MM Employment Content Types and we'll look to click OK. Now at this stage we could have find, uh, defined some additional metadata by adding from existing site columns or creating new site columns. But for the purposes of this exercise, we'll simply go to Advanced Settings and we're going to upload, in this case, it's going to be a PowerPoint presentation and then we'll look to click OK. So once we've done that, notice now we have a site content type uh, called Induction Presentation. Just navigating back to Site Content Types yet again, just pointing out under MM Employment Content Types, there's a bunch of content types that have already been created and of course they have their templates associated with them and they could have custom metadata too. So it's these basic five options here that we're going to look to incorporate into the document set. So the document set that we're about to create is in its own right a content type. So again, under Site Setting and Site Content Types, we're looking to click Create. So let's give this the name Induction Process and we'll enter the description uh, Employee Induction Process. Right, so where it says Select Parent Content Type from, simply changing this to Document Set Content Types and the parent content type itself will be a document set. And perhaps we'll look to file this under the same group. Then we'll look to click OK. Now, basically what we'd want to do at this point is we'd navigate over to Document Settings. And once within Document Settings, what we'll look to do is we'll look to navigate to our group of MM Employment Content Types and we'll select the five content types we've already created. And we'll be removing the document one in just a moment. So what we'll do first is where it says content type document under default content, we'll look to perhaps select the employee employment contract first, and we now look to upload the template once again. So just navigating the browse, contract of employment, and we'll add a new default content. For the next one, we'll set this for the engagement letter. We'll browse and we'll set the default template. I'll just continue the process on until we've got our five content type templates uh, ticked off. So induction checklist, let's add two more. And let's go, I think the other one was payslips. And let's browse for that one. And we'll do one more, and that'll be the induction presentation, which we created just briefly, uh, recently. All right. Now, once you specify those, we might look to take the existing document and remove that from the list, right? Now, if there was any shared metadata, you'd see the option listed over here. So when ready, we'll look to click OK. At this point, you could define additional metadata for this particular content type, such as employee name, date of birth, etc. So what we're now going to look to do is we're going to navigate over to the Staff Inductions Library, which is a library we've 
created ahead of time. And it's this library that's going to house those five templates. So we'll navigate to library and library settings. Now, just like with content types, um, what you'd need to do first of all is to allow the management of content types. And that would be found under advanced settings and simply allowing the management of content types. Down below, clicking OK. Now, back into this library, just pointing out that on the Files tab, on the Drop for New Document, is the option to just simply create a blank new document. But going back to Library Settings, you'll notice over here under Content Types, we have the ability to add from existing site content types. So clicking that and hitting our drop down and navigating to our custom group created slightly earlier, you'll notice the Induction Process Document Set content type, and we'll look to click Add. Now remember, of course, this induction process document set is the one that houses the four or the five content types listed on the left. And then we'll click OK. Now what we might look to do is just navigate to the content type or list content type called document. And we either hide it from the list, but in this instance, we'll delete it from this list. Now the great thing is now notice that if we navigate to staff inductions, over files and drop our new document, you notice there's an induction process option. So clicking that, what we'll do is let's say Jack Smith, and we could specify a description if we wanted to. Um, we'll leave that blank for the moment, and then we'll look to click Save. Once that is saved, you'll notice how it has now generated those five different documents for Jack Smith. So just navigating back to the Staff Inductions Library, you'll notice there's basically a folder of type. Um, label Jack Smith. If we were to go Files, New Document yet again, and let's call this Mary Jones, and we'll hit Save, you'll notice it generates the five necessary documents for the induction process for this person, and of course each of those people are listed under their own separate folders. So guys, hopefully that made sense. Uh, document sets are just a great way to extend on the functionality of content types, and uh, yeah, hope you liked the video, hope you got something out of it, and uh, be great if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Look forward to hearing from you guys in the future. Cheers for now. Bye.